Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today it's time to say Happy Advent! This is our first day of Advent. Woo! I got a can't couple things for you. Believe it. Yes. <laughs> so we first should point out if you haven't noticed, we are in the Love and Junk Studios. We worked hard, and by we I mean John, worked hard to get our backdrop done and work on a studio for us. It's not 100% complete, but it's enough that we can film. We have a little tree over here with some ornaments that were sent to us from our sweet viewers. So thank you for that. Look for your ornament. We'll be showing you the tree up close, I'm sure, in an upcoming video. Yeah. So how we decided to do Advent this year, and if you weren't here for last year, let me fill you in. We had a cheese Advent calendar, which was super fun, and I really enjoyed it. I think a lot of you enjoyed it. There was a lot of repeats. Yes. So we decided we were going to pick up multiple Advent calendars and do multiple things this year, just to kind of keep it interesting. You never know when you check into Advent uh, or when you watch this video what is going to be featured except for there's going to be one no two constants in all of these videos three constants we'll be here yeah um we're always going to do a chocolate john's going to tell you about this box here in a second but we're always going to do a chocolate and then we're going to be doing something else or a couple of something else's so we have two other advent calendars that don't have 24 days and so we have a tea advent calendar and we have a dip advent calendar and we'll be trying both of those sporadically and then we'll be doing we'll be mixing in some other little products sometimes it'll be something that a viewer has sent us or maybe a one-off you know right. just a, a little candy or whatever that we see that we're just going to throw into advent because maybe we don't have time or want to dedicate an entire video to a single thing so uh we don't want um, our viewers to be waiting too long to see their things either. So we're just going to be tossing in. You'll see little things from our friends tossed in here and we're going to be answering a question. So as we go through the month, let us know if you have any questions that that you want to know about us, yeah, about YouTube, down in the comments. about YouTube, about our house, where we live, our country, us, whatever. you know, whatever, or the holidays. So yes. we'll get to that later. So we got this advent calendar at Aldi and it's Moser Roth is the company. It's a luxury 3D pop-up advent calendar. Nice. Countdown to happiness. And it has delicious Belgian chocolates. Nice. And I think we determined that I could eat most of these. Oh, there's the pop-up. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Woo! I mean, it's cute. It looks fancy. It's that like almost Tiffany blue color. Yeah, Pretty. Very fancy. And we got all the little doors here. Okay. And uh, I don't think they're numbered, so we just pick one. Probably start at the first. Okay, we'll save the tree to the end. Sure. Okay. Okay, so I don't You'll know have that we know see. what these are. What's well, on in the here. back. Let's see if it tells us. Oh, it yes. It does. Okay. So to be sure. So it looks like this one, number one, is cappuccino chocolate cream. Nice. All right. All right. You want to go first? Sure. All right. Ooh, the chocolate looks creamy on the inside. That's a really good texture. Mm -hmm. I love the coating chocolate on the outside. I don't love the coffee. <laughs> yeah. I like a cappuccino, but I don't really like cocoa. I mean, cappuccino with chocolate so much. It's, um, it's all right. The chocolate helps dial down the espresso flavor a little bit or cappuccino flavor, but it does taste pretty strongly of coffee. If you like coffee, I do. Mm -hmm. The good thing about it is unlike those chocolate covered espresso beans, there's no like grit or you know anything like that well for me i like cappuccino but it's usually you know cappuccinos frappuccinos those kind of thing heavy on the cream yeah. which since it's mixed with chocolate it makes it like darker if mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah it's, it's not right for me it's not my favorite definitely i i would call it more of a coffee flavor than 
cappuccino, but for sure. Yeah. That same flavor with white chocolate, maybe then. Oh, for sure. Maybe. That's I don't remember good. how much this advent calendar was off the top of my head, but we'll see if we can find it and put it in the comments. Pretty though, isn't it? Yeah, I love the color of that. That's really good. We got a couple other things that we're gonna try for you today. Uh, one is the Sweet Chaos. Uh, this is black and white sugar cookie drizzled popcorn. Mm -hmm. Now here's what I can tell you too. Sweet Chaos is a very super popular popcorn brand and they yeah. are never afraid of taking a risk. I have seen this on Instagram and I know that a lot of people said that this was their favorite oh, limited wow. edition of flavor. So I can't mm. wait to try it. Okay, so let's give this one a try. Yeah. Yeah, we've tried several Sweet Chaos products uh, in the past, and I think they're okay. It's nice. Um, they are not afraid of taking a risk at all. No. Mm. Drizzled popcorn. But that isn't usually our favorite thing in the world either. Like, we love caramel corn and cheese corn and regular popcorn, but I always love chocolate with my... Yeah. Popcorn. Sometimes. And it looks like some are drizzled more than others, but mm -hmm. it's good in the mix. Those are nice. Sometimes, at least the piece that I got, notice I had a single piece. John got a handful. <laughs> um, sometimes the chocolate or whatever the drizzle is is so completely coated over the popcorn that the a the texture gets weird uh -huh. of the popcorn or b you can't taste it yeah it comes through and you get the salt from the popcorn those are that's great i, I like think. these i like these a lot more so than other drizzled popcorn we've had in the past what did i say or what did you say Black and white? That's what it's Black called. and white sugar cookie. Oh, sugar cookie. I missed so, that part. So, it just tastes like, kind of like popcorn and white chocolate. Yeah. Uh, it, I don't know that I get sugar cookie. Yeah, I don't get any. They should have like cookie pieces in there or something. Maybe. But, yeah, I don't get sugar cookie. I just, I like the flavor of it though. It's pick, good. Pick that up if you like that sort of thing. That yeah. That's great. But um, don't expect sugar cookie. No, but there's there's a lot of that kind of thing out this time of year that I'm like, I don't I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna like it or I, you know, I I don't think I'm gonna like it better than popcorn. That that's nice. That's nice. I like it. I like it too. Okay. Alright, now the last thing that we're gonna try today for Advent we got from our good friend Billy from the United Kingdom. Thank you, Billy. And these are Nestle Kit Kat Bites and the flavor is chocolate caramel. It's a new flavor. I have to know um, how many different flavors these come in and does Kit Kat have a whole line of these there. Right. Um, I feel like we've had another Kit Kat Bites flavor. Have we? Uh, or Kit Kat Bites yeah. in general new? Because we get them here in like a sharing size. They're unwrapped like this. Um, but I think they're bigger than this, aren't they? I don't know. If you've had them in the States, let us know if they're the same thing. I don't know if I've ever had those. I don't those. know that we've had the bites other than I think we might have tried some from the UK, but I don't know that we have yeah. them here in the States. I don't Now I don't know. Let us know, what Kit Kat expert. <laughs> yes. Let us know. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm is right. Those are good. Hmm. So. I don't like them better than OG regular Kit Kats. Same. But I love the caramel too at the same time. Like I would probably dollar to vending machine go for my favorite, but every once in a while grab those to yeah. switch it up. The caramel is good. Um, for me, if they're gonna have like a little bite like that, I would like if they had like one cookie piece on the inside instead of multiple little pieces. Yeah, little bits. Um, yeah, I, I think that would be better to have like a more significant cookie piece. Uh, but the chocolate's good, the caramel's good. It's delicious. The caramel really came through. Yeah. Well, there you heard it. John hates it, so these are for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Those are Indeed. excellent, excellent, excellent. Now I'm really curious. Now I have to go straight to the internet as soon as we're done with this video and see if we do have these. 
I feel like in my bones, I've seen a bag that goes this way instead of, you know, mm -hmm. wide versus tall. Yeah. And they're with like the M&Ms that are share size. Right. But I don't know if it's that exact thing that's in there. I don't know. We mm. always tend to get candies or chocolates not like that. We get the bigger, um, still mini, but bigger than that. Yeah. Because that's... they're individual wrapped and we put them in a candy dish or something. So right. we usually don't go with the itsy bitsy ones. I'm so curious what we have here. I, I'm going to have to look it up. I will look it up and let you know in the comments. Come find us on Instagram if you haven't already. We would love to have you join us. Love and junk with no D. We're doing some different things over there as well. We're doing some mini vlogging. So you might get to see a sneak peek of what we're filming or I don't know, just some what we're eat, making for dinner yeah. or if we're out in the world somewhere. Or a cat. Yeah, what's he doing? I can tell you a lot of those pictures and videos look exactly the same. <laughs> I'm not reusing them. It's the same cat. <laughs> And he's doing laying the in the same, same spot. Yep, doing the exact same thing. So anyway, come find us on Instagram. Uh, we would love to have you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, we also have another life channel where we do other things. We're going to do some book reviews, Amazon product reviews. Speaking of Amazon, we have an exciting announcement over on that channel. So come find us over there yeah. as well, along with our game channel. We'd love to have you support us on all the channels. Just watch the ones you're interested in. Uh, this was really fun. It was the fun. Start of Advent. I'm glad we decided to do it a little bit differently. Now's the part of the video where we're going to answer viewer question. Thank you for sending in your questions. And if you have a question for us, let us know in the comments of this video. Today's question is, when do we exchange gifts between the two of us? Um, well, I think typically we exchange our gifts on Christmas Eve. We do. Mm -hmm. We just can't wait any longer. Yeah. Well, I've always, this is, this is going to sound funny, I guess, but I have always, as an adult, really been more into Christmas Eve than Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. And I know in every family that's different. It depends on your traditions and your family culture and all of that stuff. But when I was a kid, of course, it was Christmas. Right. But we always spent Christmas Eve with my favorite aunt, who was more like grandma in my family because my dad's mom had passed away and when he was little. So this was always been, that's his older sister and they've yeah. always been really close. So Christmas Eve was always super relaxed and we would order pizza and have appetizers and play board games. Nobody had to do a bunch of work to prepare for it. Everybody brought a little something. Everybody, you know, played games and had fun. It was just super relaxing and I really, really, really loved it all the work wasn't on one person right. and it wasn't too fancy or expensive not that there's anything wrong with doing a big traditional christmas dinner but i've always i have this fondness for christmas eve i think yeah and then we have been doing our gift exchange on christmas eve because like i know for me I can't wait any longer to give <laughs> Laura her presents because I want to see her open them up. I want to see her reaction. Mm -hmm. It's so funny because that, I think that's uh, true for both of us. I think we like to give the presents more than receive them, even though we, we really do appreciate, mm -hmm. you know, what we get. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah. Um, so I'll set the stage for you. This is usually how it goes down. We wait till the evening. And so during the day, we usually make dinner together. Mm -hmm. And um, we have only the light of the Christmas tree usually. And I always have a picture of John with his present pile. Like he's a little toddler. I've taken a picture of him <laughs> with this present pile every year. And then we sit and we make an entire evening of it. We are those people that sit take turns, go back and forth, mm -hmm. and enjoy each one. We don't rip into them. I mean, but, you know, we don't have little kids to worry about either. But True. we just make a whole evening of it, I would say. Yeah, it's so much fun. Laura does spoil me, so, you know. Yeah. But. Well, I like to get you a variety of things, like things that you really need. Um, you know, some things that he needs, he only gets at Christmas time. <laughs> um, and then I try to get you different things, like from different categories. Like he usually gets something fun. He usually gets new t-shirts. You know, he usually Absolutely. gets Absolutely, we do board books. games. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's, it's always a good time. Christmas Eve always. And then on Christmas Day, typically 
it's the aftermath. We're playing our video games or our board games. Yeah, that's the, the Christmas Day is the time to play with the, all your new toys. Yeah, so. and usually we get all of our stuff out of the family room and you know pick up, and then we make a special dinner just for us too. We've kind of decided that we're we're not going to do Christmas with the family on Christmas, um, and. I mean, it, it usually works out that way because of work schedules anyway, and that works for us. Yeah. That gives us, you know, a chance to, like, clean up because we make usually a big mess with wrapping paper and all our stuff everywhere on Christmas Eve. So Yeah, and cooking. Yeah. So that's when we exchange our gifts. Thank you for your question. And let us know in the comments when do you exchange gifts with your significant other or your children or your you know yeah. who, whoever when do you do your big your big gift exchange we do get together with family on a separate day and i feel like that's a little bit smaller scale ours is usually a couple of hours of opening presents and we take our time and talk about each one right the other one's usually quicker easier and it's whenever anybody can get together for work so that's right Anyway, that's all we have for today. I think we did all our signing out stuff already, so keep those questions coming. Happy holidays to all of you. We will see you next time. Don't forget to thumbs up. Yeah, that's it, guys. Bye. Bye.